Today, I'm going to be doing a review on the Leatherman uh, Sidekick. I got this for Christmas from my uncle, thank you. And uh, I already have it out of the sheath. So this is the, the pouch that it comes in. I'm not going to call it a sheath because it actually holds the whole tool, not just the blade. So I really like this. Um, it doesn't wobble or anything when it's on your belt. And um, it pretty much conceals the tool. Uh, I was out in the bush behind my house, which has a trail. Nobody even saw it. So this is the tool. I'll get it up close for you guys. Uh, I'm going to give you every angle that I possibly can. And sorry if, if um, this whole uh, setup's kind of bad. I just changed rooms, so uh, I'm doing this currently off the end of my bed. Um, I have a GoPro set up, all rigged up, so that I can film. Uh, and my marbles hatchet will be in on the 9th, I hope. So you guys will get some videos with me cutting down trees and... Uh, linseed, boiled linseed oil applying. So um, this tool has a really neat feature. You don't have to open the multi-tool to access the knives. The knives and the saw are right here. Here's the saw. It locks into place, unlike other multi-tools. And, and uh, other, uh, um, and rather than taking out another one to unlock it, it's just a push button right there. And unlocks it. You push it down, clips back in. Same goes for uh, the knife. Sorry if uh, there's a little bit of marks on there. This knife is uh, really good for carving um, hot dog sticks. Um, sorry if there's pencil marks on there. I'm sharpening my pencil for homework. Um, and it can cut through paper. Uh, without resistance, so that it's, it's pretty sharp factory new. Um, gonna move on to the pliers. Uh, they're spring loaded, unlike the Leatherman Super Tool, which has which is the vintage Leatherman, as most of you guys know. Um, and I like how they uh, designed the handles, like that. Gives you a nice, good grip on the tool. So here is the first side. It only has two um, tools on it, which are just screwdrivers. Nothing too special. Yeah, I believe you could use that as a bottle opener, but it wouldn't work too well. Then this side has three. Is that three? Yeah, three. And then it has a little loop if you want to uh, attach a lanyard hole. I mean, a lanyard, not a lanyard hole, what am I talking about? Um, so, sorry, I have to be really careful because this knife is sharper than the one on the outside. I'm not going to get it out all, the whole way, but that's it. Serrated edge, uh, very, very sharp. Um, one of the sharpest knives I own. Uh, so let's just put that back because I do not want to hurt myself today. I have some pretty gnarly scars from my knives. So there is the lanyard holder right there, bottle opener, um, file, and ruler. That is the complete Leatherman uh, sidekick. The one flaw that is in this tool is that it wobbles a very tiny bit just from the joint between the two arms when they connect at the um, plier so um, that's the Leatherman Super Tool next I'm going to be doing a review on the Bear Grylls uh, dual knife set uh, and here's a side note um, this believe it or not it's a barnacle that my dad gave me. There's a total of three barnacles on here. There's one massive one, uh, another massive one, and a small one that has been broken. Uh, this is a really cool, it's a micro ecosystem as you can see in there. 
there is still um, bug caves. Same with in there. But you can even see a bug in there. Um, there, there was an old. Uh, I call them wizard hats, wizard hat uh, thing. Then the big barnacle, the the teeth would have sat right there. So I found that pretty cool. Uh, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you and bye bye.